I'm Steve from This Week with Cars, and if you haven't seen my video on the six barn find sprites that I found, uh, go back and look at that video. Uh, sprite number five did not have an engine in it. This is the engine that I was given with it. Looks like someone may have refreshed this engine. It is not the correct color. Someone has blocked off all the ports where things could get into the engine, so that's a good sign. But you wouldn't want to just take an engine that's been sitting around and throw it into a car. So I need to take this engine apart, see what condition it's in, see if it has been refreshed, see if it needs rebuilt now. Uh, now's the time to do it. Uh, and we'll check all the parts. If it's okay, we'll just put it back together, paint it the correct color, make it look right. Uh, so let's get started with the teardown. I'll get the oil draining now so I don't have to wait for it later. The trick when doing an oil plug is push in on the bolt. That way it holds the oil in until you've gotten all the threads out. That way you can just pull it out and the screw will come out. Apparently there's no oil in the engine, so I didn't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna put it back on since there's nothing in there. Try to get this off without ruining the gasket. tour spark plugs are definitely old does not look like new ones were put in the paint underneath these washers looks brand new this blue paint that's on here so it's looking like a good sign so far that someone has been in here and refreshed everything these washers here are also more modern than what was originally in here, so someone's definitely been in here. Well, someone's definitely been in here, and it's a good sign. Somebody has already put new pistons in this engine. Looks like it's been bored. New pistons. So this is a really good sign. Someone's definitely taking care to make sure that anything that was wrong needed addressed so even though someone has been in here i'm still going to take it the rest of the way apart want to make sure that this is in good shape so i'll continue the tear down uh, since the it's got new pistons and things let's take a look at the bottom of the head we'll see if they did any work in there i can't tell if they surfaced the head it has all the markings from the head gasket on it but it does look really good it feels really sharp like it has been surfaced the valves are very clean so it definitely looks like someone has put some money into this engine right before they decided to put it on the shelf There's a couple dowels there that line up. You can see one here on the engine, one here on the water pump. There was a little bit of rust in there, and that's why the water pump was held on. Underneath the timing cover, everything looks good. It does look like a new chain has been put in, so that is good. If you are unsure of how many miles your chain has on it, Whenever you have this cover off, it's always a good idea to replace those. They're not very expensive. A stretched out chain will actually allow your cam timing to be a little bit different than what it was when it was tight. So it's always a good idea to replace those. You don't want those to break. Someone has covered the bolts on the side covers with RTV. They didn't want it to leak, but now it's a big mess. This is a nice find. They use silicon gaskets here. These are not the original cork type. These are meant to be reusable and they should seal a whole lot better than the corks did. So that's a nice uh, upgrade that someone has done here.
Here's a look at what it looks like inside the engine. You can see the camshaft looks in very good shape. I don't see any rust or corrosion in here. Looks like it has new rod bolts on it. I'm gonna take one of these off just to take a look at the bearings. I'm sure that they put new bearings in it. This all looks to be in very good shape. You can see the bottoms of the new pistons in there. You can see the cylinder walls of the pistons that are up right now. The walls look in great shape. So everything here looks really good. This is going to be an easy build. Basically just get a gasket set, put some new gaskets in it, get it all sealed up, get it painted the right color. I'll just pop this cap off real quick. We'll take a look at that. Let's pull this cap off. Look at that, brand new bearings. Engine has definitely never been fired. There are no marks on that at all. All of the assembly lube looks to be in good place. They put a moderate amount on there. It's kind of surprising that they never got the engine back in the car. There's no excessive end play on the crank. I thought I would just go over real quick what I took off the engine. Obviously this is the valve cover. Looks like the seals are in pretty good shape. Still feel soft. Here's the side covers. You can see all the goop that they smeared onto the bolts to try to keep that from leaking right there. That is always a problem spot. One thing that helps a lot before you put these back on is make sure that this hasn't been squashed right here. Make sure that it's nice and flat. Spark plugs, I'll need a new set. These are old ones. They probably were going to put on a new set in once they got it into the car, but that never happened. Got the fan and water pump pulley here. Oil dipstick. This is the front cover. If you didn't know what this thing was, this was sitting right here behind the, the front seal. This is an oil slinger. Got the distributor. I haven't opened this yet, so let's take a look inside this real quick. Let's see if they had gone through and cleaned this up at all. There is some corrosion and grooves on the posts inside the distributor, so this is an old one. This one was used. This is not a new one that they put in. Doesn't look like they've done anything here inside the distributors. Here's the points right here that open up. So the distributor will need a refresh as well. Moving on, here's the front crank bolt. Looks like the lock on for it has Seen better days, so I'll probably get a new one of those. Push rods, the tappets, obviously the crank pulley. Now you do have to watch these because these are just riveted together and I've seen these actually separate. And it's not uncommon to see chunks out of these as well. These uh, early sprites didn't use the best of material sometimes. There's the water pump. When I took it off, I spun it. It did feel good. Didn't feel like there was any play in it. Um, bearing felt good, so hopefully that'll be okay. And of course, we took a look at the head before. It looks like they have done work on the head, so I'm not very worried about that either. Down here, I didn't show you inside the oil pan, but it looks extremely clean. I'm not sure where all the oil came from. Maybe they didn't get it cleaned out real well when they did the engine work before, at least on the oil pan. But I'll run this through the washer and get this all cleaned up, make sure that there's nothing sitting in the bottom of there. And to mount the engine on the engine stand, I did have to take the back plate off before I started the video. And since I had to take this off before the video, I didn't show you, but they did cover the cam cover and that RTV as well, trying to seal that. I don't know if they had used a different back plate and had to take this off and replace it. I'm not sure why they did that there, but that's another thing that I'm going to have to look at before I put this back together. Well, I think that's it for today. I have a lot of work getting all these parts uh, cleaned up, ready to be resealed up and painted. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.